Missy, when you signed with Cal, you, you talked about the closeness of the, the Olympic team that you swam with, and there was a subgroup of, of Cal swimmers there. Um, is that what really got Cal on your radar with, with Coach Terry and the program, or were you thinking seriously about Cal before that experience? Um, well, the awesome thing about being on the national team for those several years is I had the opportunity to see college coaches work with athletes, which so many athletes, high school athletes going into college, they never get to see their coaches actually, you know, working with their athletes, except when they go on their trips. So having that opportunity to beforehand was just awesome. And so I got to see, I mean, the best co coaches in the country for collegiates. I mean, I saw Terry was on those trips, Jack Bowerly from Georgia was on those trips. I mean, so many people that I got to work with. And, and there's always just something about Terry's group. Like I was always just jealous of their group. Like I, they always looked like they were having so much fun and they were doing different stuff. And it just looked so interesting to me. And I always just wanted to be a part of it. But I was definitely trying to keep my mind and my heart open so I could really be open to, to different colleges and what those experiences would bring me to make sure that I was getting all the information I needed to make the right decision. So I learned a lot from those trips, but it really wasn't until I had finished all my recruiting trips and I had a chance to see firsthand the different colleges and the different programs and the different student athletes that were there that I was really able to say, okay, yeah, I, I know that Cal's the place for me. In, long, in a long line of Olympic swimmers that have come to Cal that have had real strong success on the Olympic stage. I mean, Mary T. Maher and Natalie Coughlin and on the men's side, Matt Biondi, Anthony Irvin, so many names. Have you had the chance to interact with them much at all? And, and if so, what, what have your conversations been like? Oh, absolutely. It's especially Natalie and Anthony, because they still train here and I see them all the time. Um, they're so wonderful. I was able to have those relationships with them before I got here. Um, but ever since I got here, you know, it's it's awesome. You know, you're literally surrounded by greatness. Every single day you come to the pool, you're you're in the same workout as the greatest Olympian, female Olympian ever. And then you have Nathan Adrian and Anthony Irvin and <laughs> Tom Shields and Caitlin Levin. So, I mean, it's just so, you're literally surrounded by the best people in the world. And it's just so incredible being in that kind of environment to motivate you and push you. And, and just knowing that so many people have come before you and that, so many people are going to come after you just to be even a small part of it. It's it's a really cool thing. So Missy, you've got swimmers around you in your particular strokes like, like Rachel and Elizabeth and Sierra and so many that are there to push you all the time and, and help you prepare for these big meets coming up. And you've got amazing talent coming in behind you, probably the best class in the country. Do you do you guys feel pride in that legacy that you're building up in Cal Swimming here? Oh, absolutely. And I mean, it's a legacy that goes so far before us and will continue long after us. But it's so special whenever Terry often has, has women from the team before come in and talk to us and what they're doing now and their experience and how what they learned in their four years here has helped them and what they're doing right now in their life. and. And just to hear that and hear about how, okay, yeah, like these underwater sets are horrible, but they taught us that you, you can get through it and that you can push yourself beyond what you think you're capable of doing. And now this is what so-and-so is doing in the workplace. And she never thought she'd be able to do this, but she's doing it now and, and things like that. And, and being a part of that, like I said before, it's so cool. And we have an, un you were right, we have an unbelievable class coming in next year. And it's going to be so exciting watching them and seeing what they can do as a college team. And I'm really excited to see where this program is going. I think they've accomplished amazing things in the past. And hopefully we can continue, continue on that legacy.